Hello guys, and welcome to the final 12 games of Switchmas episode. And this is my game of the year, Metroid Dread. Just overall, definitely one of my favorite games of all time, definitely in my top 10, and definitely my favorite Metroid game. This game delivered, and this game is amazing. Like, there's so many good things about this game, I don't even know where to start. First, let's talk about the gameplay. The gameplay is really fun. There's a lot of different mechanics from the missiles you can use and the ways you can maneuver and use your Aeon abilities. And I would definitely have to say that this is the best movement I've ever felt in a 2D game. It's just so good. It's so fluid, so easy to understand once you get the controls down. And it it's just really good and just really fun to control. I really haven't had a hard time controlling it. Like, in some previous Metroid games, I kind of had to get used to, like, trying to do everything for a while, especially with um, Samus Returns on the 3DS. I feel like with the small 3DS I have, I have, the, I have like, a 2012 model, so it's pretty small, and it kind of took a while to get used to the control since it's kind of hard to kind of press multiple buttons at a time, like, really quickly. But with the Switch and everything, and the Pro Controller, and the even the Joy-Cons, it, it feels a lot better, and a lot of the buttons they have certain abilities mapped to feels really good. And also with the different worlds, they feel really nice. I like the enemies, and I really like how they react and everything, and you have to be really quick sometimes because um, there's some enemies that are fast, and then you have to do different things, and the worlds themselves look great. This is definitely one of the best-looking Switch games. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say graphically one of the best. I mean, there's definitely, like, a, games that look a lot better than this on the Switch, but I would definitely have to say the environments in this game look really good, and I've taken a ton of screenshots in this game because of how good it looks. Like... It, it really does give the feeling that you're actually on, like, a planet like ZDR on here, like, with the backgrounds on here. It doesn't look like a random jumble of pixels like some of the older games do. Like, it just actually looks like a living and breathing world, like a 3D game would. Like, it actually has, like, visuals that you'd expect to see in, like, a big AAA 3D game, and it just, overall, it looks really nice, and the boss battles are great, too. Some of them are hard, like, I would say, like, I, I'm, I guess this isn't a spoiler because it's in one of the trailers. Kraid, Kraid is pretty hard at first, but once you get the pattern down, like, you kind of, um, get used to it and everything, and it's honestly not too hard. There's also a lot of really cool sequences you can do if you, like, shoot the missiles at a certain time, and you can basically spam missiles during them. And they look really cool. They look really nice during some of the boss fights. And I really like how cinematic this game is. Because there's a lot of, like, short bursts of cutscenes and different things like that. And at first, that kind of first shows up with, like, the Emmy sequence and everything. And kind of segueing into Emmy. Um, the Emmy zones are really cool, too. Um... I originally thought when I saw the first trailer of the game and everything, I thought that was basically going to be the whole game, just to, like, trying to run away from Emmy. But I feel like it's kind of, like, in the perfect area. Like, the Emmy zones, like, you have to go through them. They're kind of, like, they take up, like, a quarter or maybe even a third of, like, most of the worlds you go through. And you kind of have to go through them to do, like, certain missions and try to get the certain items and certain abilities to try to unlock them um you have to go through the emmy zones in order to progress and it just feels really satisfying trying to um run away from one and successfully get away from one and you could also hide from them like with the um the aeon cloaking ability i forgot what that was called i think it's called like the um the phantom cloak or something like that um but like doing that and 
there's also like abilities where you can basically kind of like go like kind of like escape from them really quickly and just overall the emmy zones are really cool i feel like they're really nice to have on there and definitely kind of gives like a stealth aspect to the game too and even like chasing down and killing the emmy is really fun also like you basically get that ability it's kind of hard to do it because sometimes like you're in a really small area and you have to be exact when you're trying to kill the emmy but overall it's really nice so anyways metroid dread is definitely my game of the year like i said and i definitely recommend it even if you haven't played metroid before um i think it's still good even though it's harder than most games on the Switch, or most Nintendo games on the Switch, I should say. Um, even if you haven't played a Metroid game before, like, even with the difficulty, it's still really fun. It's still great to get into, because it's, like, the controls are pretty easy to get the hang of, but the game itself is pretty hard. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.